Linda Sarsour and her organization, the Arab American Association of New York, are loading goods to be sent to Syrian refugees. The food drive is just the kind of work her group is known for, which is why it came as a shock to Sarsour to find out the New York Police Department targeted her organization for surveillance. I am not a terrorist, I am not a suspect, and neither is my organization, so there should be no reason why our taxpayer dollars are going to spy on me and my organization. Documents obtained by the Associated Press show the NYPD has secretly labeled entire mosques and Islamic groups as terrorism enterprises. Opening a terrorism enterprise investigation on a mosque is so potentially invasive that while the NYPD conducted at least a dozen since 9-11, the FBI never conducted one, according to interviews with federal law enforcement officials. Some investigations stretched for years, even without specific evidence of a crime. Anyone attending a mosque under investigation could be fair game for surveillance. No one questions that the NYPD has a job to do, but it can't do that job by singling people out on the basis of their religious belief or the color of their skin. The ACLU is suing the NYPD on behalf of Muslim plaintiffs, saying the spying program violated their constitutional rights. The NYPD did not return a request for comment, but previously has said they only follow leads and are not doing anything illegal. Zandra Maui is one of the leaders of the Islamic Society of Bay Ridge, which was targeted by the NYPD for infiltration. When you lose your hope, when you lose your freedom, when you don't find justice, when you don't find democracy, in a country always talking about these things, I think you have the right to be angry. Ramawi says his generation is a lost cause. They will never feel safe. Sarsour, born and bred in Brooklyn, is already worried about the next generation, her children. And my daughter was holding a sign that said, walking while black or praying while Muslim is not a crime. And she asked me, why do we say that? And I said, well, sometimes there are people who, because of who you are, they just don't understand you, so they treat you badly. A lesson she hoped she never had to teach. David Martin, Associated Press.